Hi, this is Ambie from Board Game Blitz, and this is my news update vlog thing for July of 2022. Vlog thing. News update vlog thing. We had a couple of guest appearances in June. First, Crystal was a guest on the podcast Hatched This Way, which was a special podcast for the month of June, which is Pride Month. So it was a podcast that had a lot of different episodes from a bunch of different queer people in the board gaming hobby. So there's a bunch of episodes, you can listen to them all, but Crystal's in one of them. And I'll link that one below in the show notes. And then I was over on OFPG Voices, which is one of the shows from Our Family Pays Games, the YouTube channel. And I was interviewed by Amanda Panda there about me and my book, Board Game Day. So that was a lot of fun. Upcoming in July, I don't have any like huge plans for videos on this channel because I'm still heavily working on my Kickstarter for Board Game Day and that's actually going to launch on July 18th. So mark your calendars and also click follow or notify me on launch on the Kickstarter because uh, I, I really hope it succeeds. And yeah, I guess there aren't that many updates. So on to acquisitions. I did not get any review copies this month, but I did buy a few games. So there was a Target sale, but buy two, get one free, and I had a $5 Target gift card that I needed to use. So I got three games. There's well, this is a book, The Cipher Files, which is a um, by the people that made Journal 29. It's a puzzle book that you write in. So there's like a, a bunch of different puzzles in here. You need the internet and a pencil and scissors and stuff. And you write in here. Each one gives you like a different clue. And then it ha goes through a whole story. So I, I really liked the story. And I like this a lot better than Journal 29. It's kind of like a mix between a puzzle hunt, escape room, puzzle book thing. <laughs> but... I actually played through the whole thing and finished it today, so I'm done with it. I also got 60 Second City, uh, which was in for, from Target. Uh, I didn't know anything about this game, but it's a two-player real-time cooperative game where you're like, like puzzly laying down tiles and trying to match things. I haven't played it yet, but one of my kids really likes the pieces and he calls it the puzzle game and likes like, putting them down. So. I hope it's fun. And then the third game I got in the Target sale, which didn't ship until more recently, was My First Adventure, Finding the Dragon. This is an RPG for three-year-olds, but basically it's a choose-your-own-adventure type book. So it's a book with with um, different pages on here. So like this, oh, that just you. this is like the first part of the story and you choose one of three things. And these have different pages. So like if you choose this one, you would move in and go on this page and read what happens. And then like after you finish that part, then you would move to the next complete part of the story. So there's a story about finding a dragon and trying to befriend them. And it's really cute. My kids really like playing with it. And it's really easy because it's just like reading a story with them making some decisions like, oh, I want to do this part. Right now they're just reading the same parts over and over again, kind of. <laughs> they really like going to the same places over and over again. But I think it's a good way to introduce kids to role playing games. So that was, that's really exciting. We also made a couple of purchases at my FLGS because they had these games that we don't have yet. So let's exit the game, Kidnapped in Fortune City. This is an escape room type game. It's still in shrink right now, but like we get all of these exit games because I love the escape room games and we didn't have that one yet. And then Echoes the Cocktail, which is a new type of game, audio, audio mystery game. So I think there's four of these out now. And this was the first one we played. We, we actually did play this one. Uh, well, although we didn't play it, we played it in July, so it doesn't count, but like, <laughs> um, but it's basically a bunch of cards and you're using an app to scan the cards to hear audio clues about like what happened and you put all the events in order. So you're like solving this mystery. It's very story driven and we really enjoyed it. So I kind of got into some of the gaming highlights when I was talking about acquisitions, but so Echoes the Cocktail, I did not play in June, so that that's not included here. But in June, I have 51 plays logged of 25 different games. A lot of those, again, are children's games. But the the best new to play me game is uh, my first adventure, Finding the Dragon. I mean, it's not like the favorite game for me, but it was my favorite experience, I think, of playing games because it's just great being able to play this with my kids and then wanting to play it and having them make the different choices. 
there's little dials that show you the items you get. And so like one of the items was slippers and then they they were talking about how they want to get the slippers and then they got their own slippers and put them on. And so, so it was kind of like they were getting into the role playing. I'm not sure if, like how much they fully understand, but it's really cool. And they want to play like the book game. They know it's a game book. So uh, it's just really exciting playing that with my kids. And as I mentioned last month, I'm going to try to do a video of all of the games I played, like kind of mini talking impressions about the games I played. Hopefully that will be out soon. <laughs> I'm, I'm planning on recording it right after I record this one, so but I haven't recorded it yet. So I'm hoping I'm actually able to record it without getting too tired. And that's it for this month's news update vlog thing. Make sure you check out my Kickstarter July 18th for board game day and check out the video that I'm going to have at some point of the games that I played this month if you're interested in more of the games that I played. Thanks for watching Board Game Blitz. Bye.